Because of the somewhat ambiguous fate of the Paradigm Daleks in the 11th Doctor's era, many theories have been suggested as to what became of them following their brief final on-screen appearances in Asylum of the Daleks. One of the most common that I've heard is that the Paradigm Daleks fought a war with a new faction of Bronze Daleks, referred to as the Children of Davros, and despite never featuring in any TV story, audio or novel, this theory is popular among fans, who argue that there is some evidence scattered across the 11th Doctor's era to suggest that the Paradigm Daleks were eventually wiped out by the same Daleks they were designed to replace. But is there any truth to this theory? As we're no doubt all aware, the Paradigm Daleks made their debut appearance in Victory of the Daleks, and were met with a harsh reception from fans. They made a handful of subsequent appearances, in the finale of Series 5 and for a brief cameo in Series 6, and also appeared in several examples of expanded media like the adventure games, several comics, and some books. But by Series 7, the bronze design had been brought back and was used alongside the Paradigm props. More on that later. The last appearance of a Paradigm Dalek was in Series 7's O opening episode, after which they were never seen again. Daleks did appear in the 11th Doctor's final episode, but the only Daleks we see on screen are Bronze Daleks, with no Paradigm Daleks in sight, so fans were left to speculate as to what became of the Paradigm. All the while though, an interactive show at the Doctor Who Experience suggested a potential explanation for the Paradigm's abrupt downfall, a civil war between the new Daleks and another faction of Bronze Daleks, who refer to themselves as the Children of Davros. This is an exciting prospect. Fans love a Dalek civil war, and the Paradigm design was considered to be universally unpopular at the time, so it made perfect sense to include as part of the exciting Doctor Who experience, particularly since the show itself had been somewhat reluctant to progress the Dalek story at that time. However, it is worth pointing out that the show itself has never mentioned a civil war between the Paradigm and the Bronze Daleks. In fact, in order to depict the children of Davros at the Doctor Who experience, archive footage of Dalek Sek and other members of the Cult of Scarrow were used. We can see some tiny hints that suggest this conflict may have occurred in universe, however. For one, the existence of a Dalek Parliament. Some have theorised that the Parliament could have come about as a result of a peace settlement between two factions of Daleks, the Paradigm, and another faction using the bronze design. This would explain the need for a pseudo-democratic system, if a delicate peace had been broken between two antagonistic Dalek factions. There are also the Daleks on Scarrow in Series 9 to consider. They are referred to by Davros as his children, and there is even a black Dalek identical to Dalek Sek among their ranks. Could these be the remnants of the children of Davros, left over after a civil war which established a bizarre parliament for the Daleks? Like many aspects of Dalek lore and history, the answer is not entirely clear. Subsequent expanded media sources released in the late 2010s and early 2020s, particularly reference books such as the Dalek Handbook and Dalek, the astounding untold history of the greatest enemies of the universe, have a different perspective on things. While some do make vague references to a possible conflict between Paradigm Daleks and other types of Daleks, most modern sources concur that the reason for the existence of a Parliament of the Daleks is because the Paradigm itself had fulfilled its primary purpose of restoring the Daleks to the universe, but were gradually pushed aside by their empire due to repeated defeat at the hands of the 11th Doctor. This is reflected on screen in Asylum of the Daleks. The Supreme Dalek, formerly the Dalek Commander, now acted as a steward to the Dalek Prime Minister, and Bronze Daleks outnumbered Paradigm Daleks by at least 50 to 1. These two particular reference books have clarified that the massive Dalek saucer that is destroyed by the 11th Doctor's regeneration in his final episode was in fact the Parliament of the Daleks, which contained the entire Paradigm cast, and as such, the Siege of Trends law marked the total destruction of the Paradigm Daleks, leading to a new Dalek leadership being established on Scarrow, one which Davros later collaborated with. While Davros does call these Daleks his children, it's worth bearing in mind that Davros considers all Daleks to be his children. He refers to the Daleks aboard the Crucible in much the same way. Ultimately, however, the truth behind the rumours of a civil war between Paradigm Daleks and Bronze Daleks is unclear. There are multiple conflicting accounts, and the evidence scattered throughout the Dalek episodes of the mid to late Moffat era could point to a number of potential explanations for what happened to the Paradigm. The most reasonable explanation seems to be that there may have been a short-lived war between the Paradigm Daleks and other Dalek factions, but if such wars ever occurred, they were not directly responsible for the Paradigm's downfall. Having said that, if these conflicts did lead to the establishment of the Dalek Parliament, then they could be considered to be the beginning of the end for the Paradigm, as it was the establishment of this new mobile leadership body that inadvertently allowed the majority of the Paradigm Daleks to be wiped out over Trendelor. What do you think? Do you think there was a civil war between the children of Davros and the Paradigm Daleks? Do you think we'll ever see Paradigm Daleks in the show again? Let me know in the comments below, and… Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the Dalek Bumps.